Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, to base entertainment. And when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And boy, oh boy, I want to talk about that Redeem team. Doc, but before we get into it, this video is... <laughs> Before we get into it, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video if you haven't already, my mind was ever. Anyway, let me get into this here. Um, as y'all know, this Redeem Team doc came out, uh, I believe it was on October 7th, right? Last week, Friday. Obviously, depends on when you're seeing this video. And, um, you know, it was fantastic to see Kobe Bryant, you know, was, you know, a basketball career in context against other NBA players or with other NBA, other great NBA players. Now, for me personally, um, I already had Kobe Bryant. I already had Kobe Bryant in my top three all time. Always, I had Michael Jordan number one, uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar at number two, and I had Kobe Bryant uh, in number three. Now, some people disagreed. They can go ahead and kick rocks. Like y'all are bringing me Tim Duncan and Larry Bird. Y'all, y'all are. I'm not like y'all are bugging. I'm sorry. You bringing me Tim Duncan and Larry Bird to talk about being better than Kobe? Come on, cut that out. Like, and people are actually like, no, 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 no. You good? Nah, 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 bro. Them, them the wrong cats. If you're not bringing Jordan, you're not bringing Kareem. I'm really not interested in having this conversation um, with you. But today, while I was doing some research, um, it turns out that this um, documentary has actually been making an impression on a lot of NBA fans. And it seems like a lot of NBA fans out there are beginning to say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be wrong about this thing. I should be having Kobe right behind um, what is it, Michael Jordan? And today we want to read from an article that we got uh, from FadeAwayWorld.net. And we're going to read some things that people are saying out there about this doc. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by sponsor Aura, who's also the official sponsor of the Minnesota Timbles. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who is the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web, and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened. In addition, Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro. And when you try Aura by using the link in the description below, also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So let me just get into this article here and uh, read what it has to say here basically it starts off with the headline nba fans think kobe bryant is the greatest player ever after michael jordan and 2008 uh redeemed team documentary proves that the, uh, the article continues on kobe bryant is one of the best players to ever play in the nba but at times when it comes to all the all-time debates many fans tend to leave his name off the top five list nba players of all time in the history of the league this is somewhat surprising due to the fact that Kobe has a pretty amazing resume. He spent 20 years in the NBA and won a lot of accolade, which includes five NBA championship. But the one thing that gets overlooked from Kobe Bryant's breathtaking career is his time with Team USA. The Black Mamba is one of the few players who were never who were, who were never defeated when wearing Team USA's jersey. Kobe had a perfect. 36 and 0 record when representing the national team. Speaking of Team USA, Netflix recently dropped a documentary on the Redeem team. It was a team that was gathered ahead of the 2008 Olympics to show that the USA was still the home of the most talented NBA players in the world. NBA fans left stunned by Kobe Bryant's greatness in the Redeem team doc. This one fan said here, uh, ball don't stop. This account, I believe, has 248,000 followers, said the Redeem team doc just further confirmed what the real ones already knew. No, not only was Kobe Bryant the most skilled and talented player, but he was the ultimate alpha and winner, the basketball savant. He was wired a lot different. He flipped that culture. Some other NBA fans went on um, to say, 
Um, if you don't got Kobe in your top five, you should never speak about basketball, speak about basketball ever. A nightmare at both ends. I swear to God, there's no further debate. Kobe is the GOAT. Another person said, I love Kobe too, my man, but M <laughs> but MJ did exist. He did it first with better efficiency uh, with the whole league on his back. Kobe is absolute uh, best outside of MJ, but that doesn't mean he is isn't an all-time dog. Someone else said, there was a story about Kobe's legendary work ethic. He would show up to meetings already drenched in sweat while Melo, Braun, and Wade were yawning, trying to fight off sleep. Another person said, the false narratives that have been painted till now is Jordan and LeBron goat debate. But in reality, it's always Jordan, then Kobe in the first and uh, close second as the greatest of all time. Even NBA players knew this knew this fact deep down. Another person said, this is nothing new if you actually saw Kobe play throughout his career. People listen to fools like Nick Wright, Nick Wright like what he has as an authority. Uh, MJ and Kobe, the ultimate comparison, the only comparison without Kobe USA probably would have lost again. The alpha on a team of alphas, they all defend, defer to him when it was winning time. Another person said, it's crazy how even the best guys on that team saw him as an alpha of the alpha dogs. Different mentality and drive, man. And he led by example. And one person said, uh, MJ won Kobe too. I don't care about the rest. So you heard what some NBA fans were saying there. And in fact, we actually decided, up to put, decided to put up two polls on our channel before we produced this video here. And the first poll, um, asked the question, after watching the Redeem Team doc, do you have Kobe Bryant in your top uh, five? And about after 51 minutes of, um, you know, after after having up the poll 51 minutes, about 1,100 people uh, voted and 70% said yes and 30% said no. And then we asked another question, if you had to pick one player to lead a team and go against MJ, which player would you choose? We, we had LeBron James, Magic Johnson, Shaq, Kobe Bryant, and Kareem. And of the 1,600 voters, 60% of those voters decided to go um, with Kobe Bryant. And let me let, let me tell you guys why this let me tell you guys why this is happening. Okay. Let me explain to you why this is happening. The reason this is happening is because people saw what they saw. Watching the game, watching performances puts information into context. They don't have Shannon Sharp or Nick Wright misleading them and telling you what to think about Kobe. No. They saw it and truth got a chance to speak. We all saw when the guy walked into the arena, the entire energy of that team changed. Those guys were looking up to him. It was evident. You could clearly see that these were the greatest players in the world and he was a tier above all of them. No one needed to say it. It was obvious. You could tell by their body language. You could tell by the energy. And that is the reason why people are beginning to modify their opinions on this debate. The real GOAT compare. I mean, the real comparison has always been uh, Michael Jordan and then Kobe. It's just various interest groups in the media um, after he retired, decided that they wanted to make sure that his name was not going to be mentioned for whatever reason. But people now are seeing it with their own eyes and your words are not more powerful than what my eyes are seeing and they saw it and that is the reason why people's opinions change similarly to when the last dance docu uh, docuseries came out a lot of fans were like pro lebron or pro this guy but after seeing michael jordan's career in context you know hearing about those great performances but actually seeing them in high leverage moments people began to change their opinion. And that's what this doc did. So to me, Kobe's, all, <laughs> I mean, to me, Kobe's top three all time. I don't even think it's a, it, it is a discussion. So the question to the, you guys, after watching that series, do you have Kobe Bryant in your top five? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And we catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.